Oh. Good to hear your beautiful voice. Oh, thank you, Todd. It's her birthday today. Oh. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Glenn Ray. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. That's lovely. <laughs> well, she's 20, she's 21 today. Yeah. Is 21. that all? Is that all? That's all. Yep. <laughs> Sylvia says happy birthday too. She's in the we're live on Facebook. Wow. Uh, let's see now. Yeah. It's been a pretty wild, crazy. It's always that way though, isn't it? <laughs> Is it ever? Yeah. Gosh. Sure is. I think I'm going to have to cancel my next two shows. I don't think I can do it. Yeah, yeah. Right. You got to take care, take care of number one, right? It's kind of power. A absolutely, yeah. yeah. To thine own self be true. Yeah, right. You do have to, you do have to take yourself first. We take have to. We have yeah. to. A yeah. Absolutely. Well, here we are. 25 people in the house. Okay, let me just share this through the network. Lynn Ray, you look good today. You out working in the garden? Uh, no, actually, we have the house on the market. Oh, we've got two people coming for viewing today. So I'm actually, you know, getting the cobwebs down and sweeping. Yeah. <laughs> Clean, cleaning Nikki's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's about it too. Oh, so. come off it. <laughs> come off it. I never wash. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like my dad my dad told me why don't you make your bed I said because it's only going to get messed up again yeah 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 that's right mm. yeah powerful you know what's amazing is we have these elevations and then more light comes in and it's so blissful and incredible yeah and then we wake up the next day or sometime during the day and all this stuff starts popping up yeah it's about like being hit Hit with a, by a piece of four by two. Yeah, right. And then the the light shines, the more uh, shadows come to the surface. And uh, the only way to get to a higher elevation of light is to go through the shadow. Yeah. We know that. We yeah. Know that. Yeah, let it pass. May it pass with easy let grace. Hello, yeah. Ivania down in uh, Tasmania. De Denise Chadwick, Laws Mitchell, Heather Nielsen. Ivania says, happy birthday. Happy birthday, everybody, for Glenn Ray. If you didn't know. Yeah. Uh, Lissy Love, Kelly Bird, Marie Iverson, Debrielle, Amanda Lawrence is in the house. Kim Longo, Marianne Savino, Serena Bacaliga, Neil Devaney, Sherry Whiting, Amanda Summer, Heather Houston's here. Uh, who we got? Raquel Toons, my dear friend from Canada. <clears throat> Shesha Green, Amanda Summer, Jesse May, Sandra Rose, Mary Lynn Young, a Amy L. Brown. Uh, Amanda says she stayed up especially for this. Oh, Cynthia Fishion and oh, uh, everyone's yeah. wishing everyone's wishing uh, Lynn Ray happy birthday. Hello, Sue Baxter Fitz, Laurel, Laurel Gale. Thank you both <laughs> and many others for the continued love and support contributions to keep us going by the seat of our pants because that's the existence that we're having. And I think it's just a reflection of what's going on in the collective. Hello, Heather Nilsson. Uh, another happy birthday for Glenn Ray. Um, it's not. It's not easy. Welcome back, Nikki and Glenn Ray. It's not easy. I woke up this morning and it was a beautiful, incredible uh, end to about a mm, thirty-six hour of uh, bliss, elevations, activations, mutual. Morgan and I and other people around us, and uh, then the middle of the day comes in and it's like everything goes to hell in the handbasket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. just, I'll, I'll share something with you then from this morning um i woke up actually forgot it was my birthday but i woke up and then nikki came in wishing me a happy birthday and um made my coffee just forgot to bring it into me left it in the kitchen yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's the transitioning divine masculine <laughs> And I, I got up and uh, right, you know, right, we've got these people coming to see the house. So I'll, I'll go into my um, little clean up mode and tidy and dust and what have you. And um, then I started, my emotions started going down. And suddenly I was right back um, four years ago at my, just before my 70th birthday, I just went to the doctor just for a test, uh, just a quick little checkup. That's all she wanted to do. Um, found a lump and was told I had cancer. 
And I was expecting um, something really great and grand happening on the 70th. You know, the, the, right, this is, you know, I've made it this far. Awesome. And um, so when this happened, uh, I was there by myself. I was an hour away from home here. I came out of the doctor's surgery and I sat in the car and I thought, oh, wow. And I thought, okay, God, you brought this to me. So I know you'll walk through it with me. And I think that was a real saving grace, making that positive um, affirmation at that point yeah. with what I've seen along the way with what, you know, people go through with this. It's, it's really incredible. So anyway, um, now this morning, this just whole thing started replaying again. These past four years started going through and I thought, what's this all about? You know, okay, it's my 74th birthday and I'm back there four years ago. But then Spirit said to me, this is where you were. You felt such a change take place in your life, which, you know, it did. But what have you achieved and what have you come through in these last four years? And look at the people you've touched and helped along the way. It's finished. You're breaking out. There's a new, a new life, a new way out there for you. And it was like, wow. It's, and it was an absolute confirmation that four years, it's finished, it's over. You're stepping free of it all. That's so, a great story. That's a that great story. From today. That's a great story, you know. It really is. It really is. Because uh, it is over. It's over yeah. if we'll let it. It's over if we'll let it be over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what is um, implanted in you by doctors, and that that this will be your trip. You'll be with us now for the next five years, ten years, before you're clear. And all these things, and women carry all these things in their minds, and you know, and I say oh, I'm okay now, but in a few years, you know, my time will be up again. And, you know, don't take that on. You know, that's their fear they're putting on you. You know, you've, you've got to, when you really know yourself, know your body, talk to your body. And sure, it's still not easy, but we're showing the way through. And yeah. so, so. I think, I, you, know what I, you know what I get from that, Glenn Ray, where I'm at right now? I don't know if I'm going to do these other two shows today, and I rarely cancel a show. Rarely will I cancel a show. Uh, but like I said, I woke up, everything's been aligning, everything's been um, perfection, even to the human. And, uh, and then you get this influx of new awareness, which allows you to look at new aspects of darkness, shadow, or whatever you want to call it, conditioning, programming, whatever. And uh, one thing, I'm going to say this that I pride myself on is I still pick up my lunch pail and I go to work. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I go to work because, uh, and I can't say I'm going to do it today. Mm -hmm. I can't say that it's a heavy mm -hmm. hit today. Uh, but we're here for a purpose and, uh, we can go to work. Absolutely. We can go to work, uh, whether we feel blissful and joyful and happy, or we can go to work and lay it out there uh, with our shadows and our confusion and our imbalances, we can still go to work. You know, yes, we don't have absolutely. to be, we don't have to be, uh, we don't have to allow the ego to uh, get a hold of us. Yeah, yeah. To the point where it controls us. And the yeah. ego is our friend, I understand that, you know, but it's just, at, uh, yeah. Yeah, at the same time, Todd, we, I mean, for me, it has to be, okay, you, you get up and you soldier on. Yeah. However, there has to be times when I say give into it, otherwise it becomes a push yeah. rather than ease and grace. Yeah. So when the decision comes, you make, well, no, it's me first. And there's no looking back with the me first. There is no. Yeah, and even though you're absolutely right, you know, I mean, you you get up and you you uh, walk through it. There are times when you don't have to walk through it, and it's that ego that pushes us to walk through it. So it's kind of a fine line, isn't it? And and yeah. we have to do it in the moment. Yeah, yeah, it is a fine line, but 
at the end of the day, you know, it's like in baseball, American baseball. Mm -hmm. When the uh, guy hits a grounder to the infield and they throw it to the first baseman and the runner's foot hits the, uh, the like. bag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, run, the runner's foot hits the bag on first base and, and the ball goes into the first baseman's mid at the same time. They say a tie goes to the runner. Uh, sometimes we don't know, you know, no. but, but uh, to thine own self be true. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. I know self be true. And even absolutely. if you're in a relationship like you are or I am, and uh, you always have to go with what you know, mm. well, what's mm. best? What's best yeah. for you? Right. Best right. for you. Mm. Yeah. That's not always easy to understand either. No, no, no. Well, let me do something to start off this. Well, not, Can I no. just slip well, away? Thank you so much, Todd. The people will be arriving in the next half hour, first lot of people. So okay. I just need to um, finish doing my little chores around. Thank happy, you so much. Happy birthday. Oh, it's going to be a beauty now. I thank everybody. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah. Yeah, because... We're in this time now. I mean, we're in the fifth. Uh, th this is a, a fifth-dimensional reality that we're in, you know. And uh, but it's so hard for people to believe because you're still going through this stuff, you know. It's as you call it, shadow. I'll call it the uh, the the hidden unconscious. Same thing. Same same thing. But but. Um, there is a, always a part within us that knows, that watches, that sees it all, not just as a play, but it, it's not to make uh, less of it, but that it too will pass. This is what I was told as a boy, you know, when things went wrong, my father and my mother would say, it too will pass. And when I was 18 years old, I saw the ascension, I was taken back to the future and seeing what the life would be like for us in the new world, not in, the, in, in, my, not in detail, but certainly in feeling and in vision. Yeah. And all the way through these, what, it's uh, 60 years, knowing this and having seen it, it's always been uh, to have faith, yeah. not the blind faith, no. but it's the belief in the knowing that it's all okay. There is a divine plan. Nobody knows it. Not even the masters know it, but they know. So we'll be going through the rough stuff. It's being able to key into that. And for me, there's a very simple human way that I do this, and I encourage, I've encouraged people to do it. And it's what I call smile. Yeah. So if we just stop for the moment and close our eyes, everyone close your eyes and think of one of three things, a baby, a newborn baby or toddler, a puppy, you know, those little bouncy, fluffy things that wake their tail a hundred miles an hour and wiggle their bums and just want to be with you. Or a kitten playing and whacking uh, a, uh, what's it, wool, uh, a ball of wool and playing. Just think of one of those three things. and feel it. What are you feeling inside? I guarantee that you will feel small. There'll be that loving feeling, that cuddly feeling, that feeling of what I call smile. And it secretes something in your brain. The, the Rishis called it Anya. Yeah. That's hun honey dew. Honey dew. Honeyed dew. Yeah. It is secreted in you and it brings about smile, that inner smile. And no matter what we're going through, in a moment we can choose that smile. Yeah. 
It doesn't necessarily alter what you're thinking or feeling, but it puts you in that place of benign being. Yeah. And we look on what we're experiencing with that benignness, that same benignness that the universe looks on you and I, the masters look on you and I, the angels and all the beings look on us with benign and utter love. Yeah. So go to smile. When you're lost, when you think, what do I do? Go to smile. And it's a visceral feeling in the body. Simple. Simple. Well, I agree. I agree. And the angels and the archangels and the divine essences and the galactics and all the elementals and everybody can look at us that way. Mm. But until we look at ourselves that way, it doesn't mean shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and, and it's to feel that way, not just to look, isn't, well, isn't it? Well, to feel it, yeah. And, and here's the other thing. Here's the, to me, here's the, uh, the wild card. Here's the fly in the ointment. Faith. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we talk about faith. Hmm. faith just keep going in faith you know keep keep the faith trust but the way this thing works is it's not a stationary thing the universe is always in expansion spiritual inertia is always moving unencumbered one way or another whether you're conscious of it or not whether you're controlling it or not uh, whether you're aware of yourself or not you're creating what's happening to you so i was told eight years ago look up the word faith and i did and it was a normal definition i don't remember what it was and then i went to the second one and it said transitive verb to trust and believe and that's probably the most important thing i've ever received because mm -hmm. what it told me was faith is not a place you stand pat faith no. is a place where you continue to take action you are the universe. The universe is always expanding to trust and believe, a transitive verb, to trust mm. and believe. Mm. And if you can't trust and believe in yourself, or you can, whatever degree you can or can't, is the highest point you can trust and believe everything outside of yourself, which is the universe. So what I'm trying to say is, is we're creating, people talk about creating a new blueprint returning to the original blueprint. We're not returning to the original blueprint. We're creating a new blueprint. We're creating a new template. And the way that happens is by the transitive verb, faith, to trust and believe, to keep going, mm. to keep going, to bring your lunch pail to work and go to work when you're in joy and bliss and happiness. And when you're in confusion and you're imbalanced and you share that authenticity and that rawness and that realness, you know, this is yeah. a form, but it could be in your workplace, in your family, in a one-on-one -on -one exchange. We're the ones driving this thing. And that's how it happened. Hey, hey. I don't hey, feel good, hey. Nikki. I don't feel good, Nikki. I don't feel good at all. Nah. I don't nah. feel good. I don't feel good at all. And, I, and what is remarkable is I felt fantastic six hours ago. Yeah, yeah. But the only thing I know is to, we're in a realm that is physical, integrating the non-physical. And in this physical where we came into it as children, as babies, with the mission, our, our memories erased, uh, there was always an innate knowing and uh, and then we got conditioned and programmed and all this stuff. And however you want to describe it, it doesn't really matter. But waking mm. up is waking up. Either mm. own that shift or get the F out of the way. Yeah. You know, because yeah. if you are going, to, if we're going to stand there, not you. If I'm yeah. going to stand there and I'm going to lay down absolutes to any of my brothers and sisters, I'm just as much of the programming as any Illuminati cabal or 1%. What I can do, what we can do, is we can bring our truth and our authenticity and our rawness and our realness. We can say, 
Hey, I'm Todd Medina. It's my second show today, <laughs> Soul Speaks 5D. I'm with my brother, Nikki, who I love very much, also known as Merlin, and uh, his beautiful wife, Lynn Ray. And I feel like shit. Mm. I don't feel good. And I've allowed external things to affect me because that's the only thing that can. Mm. I give my power over to that or I take my power back. Yeah. It doesn't matter what that external is. You take your power back. Yeah, yeah. And and you hold that power, and that's not peaches and cream and fluffy love and light, you know. Mm. I don't know whether this is this is relevant, but um, I I don't talk about this um, much because it's so sacred and precious to me. Uh, and it, it, I've ha had a vision also since I'm very young, and uh, it is. To, to build something, build something that has a physical uh, a touch. And for me, it's big. For me, it's divinely orchestrated. And uh, I had various leads in the last few years that it was coming. And uh, it's been uh, with our projects, as it were, we, we come up against obstacles and it seems in every, at every turn <laughs> there's a promise and then the, the promise is unrealized and uh, for one reason or the, or the other. Yet I know, I know that even if I don't do it, someone else will. Yeah. I know that that's true because it's been with me so long. And so regardless of what's happening on the surface, whatever attacks or, you know, obstacles are brought in, in my way, and it would appear that my uh, vision and project has lost a hell of a lot of ground. Yeah. But it hasn't. I know it hasn't. Mine too. I don't know how <laughs> it's gonna, I don't know how it's going to happen, but it will happen. It will happen and it will evolve mm. a lot people and it it will be beautiful i know yeah i know i don't know whether this helps but well it, it, it does i had a profound it, i had a profound experience this morning mm. on uh the first show god i'm gonna have to try to remember the name <laughs> i can't remember the name of this beautiful divine feminine sister god I remember Maja Maja I mean Maya Maya I'm sorry spelled M-A-J-A so I got towards the end and oftentimes on these shows I see the higher aspects multi-dimensional aspects and different things coming at me and normally I can handle it pretty well and so right toward the end she was talking about how this experience she had which was kind of like uh, an experience she had where the timelines were shifting and she, who had been shy all her life, uh, was told she was going to speak. She went to this conference, and somehow her name appeared on the uh, agenda to speak. And she had no idea how it happened. So it was a very interesting story. And she said, she kept hearing a mantra in a voice, I am a speaker. I am a speaker. And so at some point, I saw her higher self pop in like an angel, all in white, and said to me, and, it, and I had to stop her from talking, I, and I've never done that. I said, one second, because I wanted to hear what it said, what her higher self said. And what her higher self said was, thank you, thank Morgan, thank Sology, for my lower aspect to find your voice. You don't see how the energy has assisted her, and you won't always see it, how it's assisted others. It won't translate into the perfect understanding in the literal human experience, but it's there and the universe doesn't miss a thing. Mm. Now, I put all those words into what was like a two second download, but that's what happened. And I think that's what we are coming to terms with 
is the non-physical impact we have on others, not just when we're projecting and blaming and shaming and all that, because we've been through all that crap. But now we can actually see our goodness and we don't have to be paid, you know, a big paycheck for it. We don't have to be given a big house or anything like that. The, uh, the validation and the reality of it is something beyond 3D, 4D, maybe even 5D. But it's real. Mm. Yeah. 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 That time and time again through my life, you know, um, I was always full of ideas, you know, and they come here, you know, creative ideas. And uh, I, there's no way I could have done them if I wanted to. But I'd have a creative idea or way of seeing things and I'd construct it. I might even make, write down a note. And then within a month or two, I'd see it popping up somewhere else in the world. And I was told, it, you know, it only takes one person to think. And if it is something, you know, of, of, of value and free, you're free and open to it, it'll go somewhere. <laughs> you don't have to know, uh, you know, but just do it. Follow your nose and do it and uh, explore it and have the enjoyment just in the exploration. Who actually takes it up and how it goes, it, it doesn't matter because it's all in the field. And this, this, we don't know. I mean, I remember a time when I was a, a, you know, a teacher at university and there was an outside gathering. This is just one example of dozens. And, and uh, the, the, the students were sitting on the grass hill listening to a speaker and I'd been there, but I had to leave. And as I left, I was going past this man because uh, who who was in my new class it was the beginning of the year he was probably 45 and so on uh, and as I went past I said hi to him and put my hand on his shoulder he gave it a little squeeze as I walked by he was sitting on the ground two day two days later after class he came to me uh, no, sorry, not two days later. It was about two weeks to, uh, or, or a couple of months later. He came to me and he said, Dr. Hammond, I wanted to tell you something. I came here from Australia and I was doing this course thinking it was going, going to be good. And I was lonely. I didn't have anyone, I knew anybody. And I thought I'd made the wrong thing and I was going to go back. But you touching me on the shoulder made me think, feel oh, I'll give it another week or so. And everything fell into place. Now I'm not saying by any means I caused it, but the the, the effect of our action, our simple action, can be magnificent. Yeah. So we have to do what we have to do. Yeah. <laughs> and you get your lunch pail and you go to work. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Actually, and you go with a you go with a will instead of a or oh, do I have to? You get, you get up and you go, whether you feel like shit or you feel great. Yeah, yeah. You do, you do that. Yeah. It's uh, a choice. And, and you do that not because it's right. You do that because that's what we're here to do. Yeah. It's a 1930 song. Pick yourself up, dust yourself down, and start all over again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, these, I mean, this time, you know, it's all very well. When you feel up, it's fine. But when you feel down, uh, 5D, 10D, doesn't matter. It, you still feel shit. <laughs> D, D ain't got nothing to do with it. Doesn't matter what, <laughs> doesn't matter what D you're in. Yeah, yeah, D, but, uh, D, D means down for the moment. <laughs> you know... But, is it down? I mean, if we're up there and we're a star full of the right illumination and sound and vibration and tones and wavelengths and everything's perfect, why the hell wouldn't we want to come down here and experience something different? Mm, yeah. It's not God, it's us. Well, yeah. It's, it's yeah. us. We're we're doing it. So, you know, we're here. You no, know, and there's nothing wrong with it. Do what you want to do. Mm. 
but it's about living. It's about life. It's yeah. about living, breathing, existing, yeah. being, uh, expanding, uh, trying something new. Uh, and, you know? and we wouldn't, we wouldn't have um, the experience of being human if we didn't have the ups and downs. You know, there's got to be that contrast. There's got to be something to bounce off because in this zone of soul, spirit, being, it's a zone of free will. And free will is to have free will, you need a choice. And to have a choice, you need to bounce, something to bounce off. Yeah. So shadow is a... Is a, is a a place to bounce off. What happened was there. There were. It eventually got to the time over the aeons when people, uh, when beings, were using that shadow to bring their own uh, agendas. Yeah. And uh, and if you like to uh, to feed on fear. And so we have all these pockets of fear as soul beings in us, which have to come up. And we know that love is the answer. But there's a bounce back. There's a bounce back. And that's what's human. And it's our emotions <laughs> that give us the experience of that bounce back. And uh, you, know, you know what the beautiful thing about free will is? See, to me, the holy triad is connecting free will <coughs> Free will to universal will. And then the third side of that triad is what you don't know is going to happen when you do it. You know, I mean, so think about all the realms out there, as I understand it, and I've heard other people talk about it, and I'm not saying it's true, that you don't have free will. You might go to a planet or a realm where courage is mm. the order of the day, and then people learn courage. But we're talking about free will here. Yeah, we're talking about do whatever you want to do. Now, what did Source, God, Goddess have in the beginning when one was one and decided to duplicate itself in some form or fashion and multiplicity or whatsoever? What did it have? It had the free will and the balls to say, I trust in love and I trust in myself enough to create a mirror of myself and the multiplicity from it and know that it will all come back to the same place free will is is a gift that few in the universe have ever received and uh it doesn't come without its bumps and its bruises but i yeah. think it's high time we get past all the stories all the traumas all the programs patterns and behaviors and all the bullshit and and take hold of this thing now and it doesn't have to be the whole world. It, it can be a hundred souls, a thousand souls, a ten thousand souls, a million souls. One soul can turn this world around. And certainly one soul can make an impression on it. Look at Joan of Arc, look at Magdalene, Buddha, Jesus. You know? Hmm. Look at so look at Todd. <laughs> look at look at me. Look at Tom. Look at Nikki. Look yeah. at this fellow I created. This Nikki fellow. <laughs> uh, I love his clumsiness. I don't encourage it, but I love his clumsiness. But yeah, yeah, he a really, you know, a, a beautiful fellow who's got warts and all sorts of things. But he just is him. And if, if we come from the creator, and it's the creator who is saying, here you are, <laughs> get lost, <laughs> get lost. Right. Because in your journey, I'm going to learn more about me. I'm going to have experiences that I couldn't have unless you get lost. <laughs> you have to. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, so it's like get lost and there you are. 
there you are, there are, I am. And so it's heavy, but it's a joke too. It, it, it's a joke. And I think that, you know, light workers, not that's an old term, but lighten up. <clears throat> Lighten up everybody, and it's not just lighten up to what uh, is happening uh, on a day to day basis, but it's lighten up totally on yourself and lighten up on humanity. Okay, there is a lot of, of suffering out there, but the potential for expansion is enormous. So, yeah. lighten up. What is it that human beings have that's really special? For me, and uh, it's been reinforced by, uh, from, if you like, the, the beings and realms beyond our physical, our human realm. They say one, the one thing that stands out about human is their capacity for compassion. Yeah. Capacity yeah. for compassion. And to have compassion, you have to, uh, 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 with depth, is to experience all the emotions, like you're saying, some, in some, in some uh, races, there is, they're learning one aspect. They're learning compassion, but within one aspect. We've got a lot. We've got a lot. And that is why we are so honored. Well, that's the point, you know, uh, the unicorns, the fairies, the elves, and nothing against them because they're all part of us, part of this universal family, archangels, angels, divine essences, galactics. They were all here. And I know there's no linear time and it was all created at the same moment, but you know what? We are the outer expanse of Mother Universe's breath, which is not a determined place. It's a place that's being created in that faith. It's a transitive verb to trust and believe, which means keep going. We are exalted because we are in this situation. We're in this place. We earned it. We were anointed. We were chosen. And we raised our fucking hands and said, I want to try it. I'll jump off the plank. And uh, you can either, you know, give up, you know, whatever you might be able to produce and give in to fear. Or you can start flapping your wings, even if you're not a bird, and try to fly. You know, I mean, we we are the darlings of the universe. We are something that's never happened before. No matter how dense and thick this place was or is, we have the ability to transform it because all of those universal beings, star family, divine essences, and such are are us the com mm. we're the composite mm. we're the composite and we we can create whatever we want to create and that mm. is where we can leave the next template in place better than the one was before not because we're better we should be better we have the experience of jesus and buddha and magdalene and yaman ja Quan yin the galactics we have all of their experience and in, in, in combined with these incredible, dense, pain in the ass, pain and suffering, successes and failures of all the human arc incarnations, combine that, and then you come to a place of presence, and you say, what are we going to do with this? Are we going to sit here and cry like babies and suck on the nipple? You know? Give me the pacifier? Uh, or, and, and that's not to say this. Maybe that's as far as we can take it. Are we going to push it? Are we going to push it and say these lawless laws will not abide? We will not abide by them. They will not stand. The borders will not stand. The illusions of this doctrine and dogma will not stand. We are the power. The power is in the personal stories of each and every one of us that defies this matrix, the gift that it has been to us, which is just a big collective representative representation of the ego. You know? Pretty good show. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I'm just talking to my friend. <laughs> it's precious, precious souls. And 
it, there is a there is a great pressure at at the moment, and uh, uh, I'm experiencing people who are feeling desperate. Uh, we're seeing the suicides and fe people feeling like suicide, and various ranges right up to just niggled <laughs> by everything, niggled by everything, and yeah, uh, and there's a draw, there's a drawing towards this. And for me, it's really simple. Hand on heart. You've got a choice. You've got a choice between fear and love. It's that simple choice. And if you're feeling in fear and you're feeling the, okay, on your knees, then on your knees to love. Even if it's only a word and you can't feel it. On your knees to love, surrender. It's a surrender. I don't know. I know nothing. That's right. For me, it is going through days when I have no mind. It's most frustrating for Glenn. <laughs> but it, that, if you like, a neutral form of uh, nothing makes sense. No, nothing makes sense. And I ain't going nowhere. It's yeah. Yeah. And there's a part of it where mm. I'm at. I'll tell you, there's a part of it. Mm. Can, are, you, are you in or are you out? That, yeah, I'm here. Oh, you're there. I was going to say, yeah. this, is, this. let me take, let me give you a personal well, my own personal experience in this moment with the universe, in this moment. And that is that I surrender. Yes, I do. But I'll be damned if I'm going to take what's given to me. I will. If I'm here and I've done all this work, I'm going to have a choice in what happens. I am not going to put all my eggs in the basket and say, universe, just give me what you think is best. I honor the universe. I respect no. and love the universe. I respect and love the universe. And I understand that whatever the universe in some weird, complex, paradoxical way has in store for me is far greater than anything I could imagine for myself. Something is good or better than I can even imagine. But I am going to have a say in this. If I want something from my heart's intention to serve my soul and all humanity and this universe, by God, I'm going to stand up for it. I'm not going to sit here and say, give me your scraps. I'm not no. going to do that. I'm not going to say, <clears throat> give me what I know and I can conceive because I, in, in my reality, I've heard about it or seen it or watched someone else do it. I want something new. That's what the universe wants. The universe wants something that's never experienced before. So by God, let's do it. And it's not done on our knees in surrender to the point where you just say, okay, I trust, give me whatever you want. Nothing against the universe, but it's on our knees in reverence <laughs> of the holy, divine, human, hybrid souls that we are with the power of infinite co-creation and collaboration. That's Brother, who we are. When you know? you're on your knees, exactly, exactly. When you choose love or fear, when you choose love, it is in sacred surrender. Yeah, sure. When you choose fear, it is in hopelessness. Yeah, or is, you give up. And, and for me, I will say myself, if I feel no, I will say no. I make a choice and I stand by my choices, right or wrong. I am a human being. I have preferences. I have preferences and I am not going to let some person in their so-called knowing, whatever that is, <laughs> ride roughshod over where I'm going. Yeah. And that is something that standing up and taking and not uh, kowtowing with some old idea of faith that's blind and waiting 
for the divine to tell you what you need to do in order to do it? Yeah. That's not free will. No. That's programming. No, I, I'm, with you <laughs> I'm, I'm with you totally. But So we've got to be able to stand up. Yeah. And I tell you, I tell people that there is a way of doing it, but it takes a bit of practice, and you probably already do it. But here, when you're in this part of your heart, the thymus, when something comes up, you get a no, an immediate no, and it's here. And it's learning to go by that no. Refusing, if you like, it's a refusal with awareness and openness, a refusal to allow certain things on your watch. And it's not putting on other people, but it's saying, no, go away, you're wasting my time. Yeah. And that's not the value of the person. No. It is what do we stand for. We stand for something, otherwise we fall for anything. And so it is. And so it, it is. is. <laughs> and that's compassion. That's compassion for me. That's right. It's compassion for my sacred truth. It's compassion for all souls everywhere that I choose this. And now with the free will zone, we're supposed to choose. We're not supposed to wait for some divine order. Yes, sir. No, sir. Three bags full, sir. Yeah, three bags full. I, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, absolutely. But it can all be done in love. Yeah, of course. Even though it may not seem that way. I mean, <laughs> if I see somebody bullying someone else, my heckles rise. And I'm glad about them. Yeah. And no way, if I have a part to play, do I allow that? And I might feel the wrath in my body. I call it wrath. Because it's not for me. It's for the truth of what I stand for. I got no problem with talking to the universe at any point and saying, you know what? I'm not talking what people might think. Mm, yeah. Because, it, because if I let the universe know, I'm done. Mm. I'm done with this, this round. Let me go. Okay. Let me go back to the till back to the well and I'll come back to the next one. But this, this is, this, this, trip this these incarnations this one in particular is summary life of all lives and not just human lives uh this is a universal correction we have literally literally the weight of the universe on our shoulders but at the same time we have the capacity to transform and transmute and correct anything and everything the universe has ever experienced to take it to a per more perfect timeline. That's what we're here to do. And we think we're these little small humans that need to take these directions from the galactics and these divine essences that speak to us. They are not greater than <laughs> us. They are not greater than us. They are us. And they are just one part of us. So get off the labels. Yeah. Get off the channels, the faces of the universe speaking to you. It is all you. And we are here in the thick of this dense experience with the ability and the skill and now the awareness to activate the most powerful transformation energies this universe, the universes, the multiverses has ever seen. God, goddess has ever seen. And all we got to do, such an easy phrase, right? All we got to do is believe in ourselves. We can only we can only believe in this universe as much as we believe in ourselves. We can only love this universe as much as we love ourselves. Period. You know, you know, Todd. As I look at you <laughs> on your soapbox, <laughs> am I on the soapbox today? On your, on your soapbox? No, I'm 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 joking. 
okay. I'm okay. Even, even when you say, you know, I feel like shit. Do you know what? There's a twinkle in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> no, even while you're saying it and feeling it, there's something else going on in there, uh, looking. <laughs> I think what this whole trip is, the twinkle for me and everybody else, you know, we all have been there, that, that voice that tells us, go do this, go do that, do that. and the human saying, what? What? Are you crazy? <laughs> but it, this has been, the human is the hero. This has been and is, and with lessening degrees, hard on the human. What is easy to the soul is hard on the human. And the human is the prize. It is the mission. It is the hero. And, and we're not doing all of this. It's universal law, equal energy exchange. We're not putting out all this effort and all that we have done for nothing. The universe will not, will not back off that sacred geometric equation. What you put out comes back. What goes around comes around. Do on to others as you would have done on to you. It's in every single religion because I've looked it up. It says it one way or the other. And and that's that's the perfect order of the universe. What you put out comes back. Mm. So the human is exalted in the universe. Yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah, it right. Is. And everyone well, knows it but us. The, yeah. ETs, the ETs call us those who don't know they're gods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that there's, a, there's something there you said that um, uh, I don't... I, I don't feel the experience of when you said we have the weight of the universe on our shoulders. I don't think you really meant it. Uh, meant I don't, that I don't, no, I don't mean the weight. No. I mean, what I mean, I mean that is an honor. Yeah. I mean that every one of us gets a chance. It's our turn. It's yeah. our turn. So when it's our turn, we're not just representing ourselves. We're representing the all, the one. So we have our chance to take it as far up the football field as we, we can. And if we, and if we have to stop and take a knee and say, I'm done, somebody else is going to come in. We get back in line. We get re uh, nourished. We get our strength back and we come back for the next round. That's yeah. all I'm saying. No, I don't mean that. I mean, look, burdens no. are blessings and blessings are burdens. It yeah. is a blessing to have the weight of the universe the the uh, the future the the destiny of the universe that's what I mean the destiny of the universe is on our shoulders it's not a burden it's an honor it's a privilege it's reverent you know it, it, and yeah. everyone sees it but us but now we can see it now we can see that we have all the intangibles all everything everything every mystery every magic every alchemy everything we have it and, and and the more we're conscious of it the more it will be allowed and expand the universe doesn't know where we're going with this the galactics don't know where we're going with this they're all sitting on their edge of the seat going what the hell are they going to do how far can they take it you know no it's mm. an honor it's an honor that that weight is not a weight like that mm. no that weight is an honor we earned it and we asked for it yeah yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. <laughs> we can go back on it, but we don't really want to. <laughs> but there's not the the you know there's nothing wrong with saying give us a break. <laughs> oh, I said it many times. I said it about a week ago. I was vomiting and crying. I said I'm done. And you know what? What else you want? But that's us talking to ourselves. Yeah. That's all it is. Mm. It's us. It's us talking to ourselves. It's us. Yeah, talking yeah. to ourselves. Mm. You know, when when we've had enough, and we've given enough, we have, mm. and that's when that's yeah. when the beautiful universal reciprocation happens. Yeah, that's right. when it comes yeah. back. Yeah. Yes, and. Even, you know, this on this journey, adventure, 
you think, well, some people think we'll be glad when it's over, but it's never over. It's never over. No, it's not over. I remember complaining about uh, uh, give, not being given a rest. Um, and uh, 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 thinking, well, when I pass over, I'll get a rest. And <laughs> my mentor on the other side said, no, because you never sleep. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Nikki. Anyway. <laughs> well, what's there to say? Ooh, life's a play. Whatever comes along, well, it's okay. Walk with wings and fly with feet and drop your mind in total defeat. Nothing makes sense. No, nothing makes sense. And I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it, it, there's um, a whole relig religious, uh, spiritual path. I think I mentioned it before. It, it comes from the Sufis, I think, pri uh, primarily the Sufi uh, teachings, but it's known as the wisdom of the idiots. <laughs> I love the Sufis, and a lot of people don't understand that they are actually a sect of Islam. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's nothing right. wrong with Islam. Uh, the, the, mis the, the mystical yeah. side of it, yes. Yeah. yeah, so, and the wisdom of the idiots, and this is fine line, and this is why I say don't take ourselves too seriously. You, you know, it, it, it's all, it, it, it's all a giggle. It has, there has to be a giggle. There has to be this playfulness. Be like a child, a two-year-old. I know nothing, but the whole life before me is an adventure. Yeah. And we can't get it wrong. No, we can't. We, we can't get it wrong. We and, can't. Uh, we the, can't. The, the fact that, that we came here, we are the, already the heroes. Yeah, we showed up. Yeah, 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 that's right. So um, now it's time to just choose love. Feel the fear, but choose love. Yeah. And we'll get, everyone will get through it. Everyone will. But it, it's like the, the idiot who is banging his head against a brick, uh, brick wall and someone comes along and pulls him away and says, hey, hey, stop that. Doesn't it hurt? He said, yeah, but it's good when you stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so stop banging their head and allow the pain to to lift of its own accord. Yeah. It's leaving. It's coming because it's leaving. Yeah. My beautiful brother. Yeah. Same I here, love brother. You. I, I love you. Love you too, man. <laughs> and uh, the Buddha was asked, is the road uphill? And he says yes to the very end. <laughs> just, just to cheer you up. Both ways on Sunday. <laughs> and listen, could I mention just one thing? Do yes. a little advert. Uh, from, for a long time now, people say, you know, they want to start something like a, a little group, or, and, uh, but they're a little uh, afraid to step out. So I've set up a page um uh, for that purpose to encourage people who want to start a home group to do it you know because there's so many people out there who, who are looking and searching and there's so many here in these networks on facebook who have yeah. so much to offer but they're a little bit scared about doing it right and this is just a support page yeah. it's it's to show them Show, show you and be available for you to encourage, inspire you. And I've done a couple of videos and I'll continue to do a few videos just to show you how simple and easy it is. And in these times, you've got the whole of the cosmos behind you if you right. step in. What's the name of it? Oh. <laughs> no, yeah. send, me, send it to me I'll, on I'll, Messenger. I'll, I'll send you a link. 
Send it to me on Messenger and I'll put it through the network. Yeah, I have no mind. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. I love you, oh, brother. God Happy birthday, you. Glenn Ray Hammond. Yeah. Beautiful day. Oh, Everybody keep your head up. Yeah. And, you, uh, you take care. We got two more shows today. I don't know if we're going to do them, but no. just to let you know. I'll first, see y'all. Thought, first thought, right thought. Yeah. I'll see y'all. Take care. Bye, Nikki.